Welcome to Inside Haiku Apps. Welcome back, guys. So let's now have a look at the next next desktop applet, and that's LaunchBox. Okay, so we know how to start applications, right? From here. And that's fine if with a stock default Haiku system. But once you start uh, installing lots and lots of stuff from Haiku Depot, then this has to scroll, and it scrolls very, very slowly. Yeah, for years now, people have been saying, let's uh, have categories in here. But it never seems to happen. But there are other ways to launch your program. One of those is LaunchBox. So let's have a look at it. And there we get some standard uh, entries, which we're going to get rid of in a moment. All right, and we got a little tab that we can drag it around with. Now, if we click here, uh, click here, right, settings, let's make it horizontal. Well, that doesn't look very good until we put it over here. Now we've got a Mac OS type dock to play with. And, right, we can make it bigger. And then we need to drag it up a bit. We can not show the window border. That takes away the tab as well. But if you're a little bit careful, you can still drag it. All right. And what do we got here? This is terminal. Yeah, just like that. Okay. So I don't really want media player on here. I can say clear the button. And we go to system apps and what are we going to put on there instead um, uh, let's say hmm, expander right not an app that we've discussed yet, but doesn't matter. So all you do is drag it onto that button. I can say, OK, add another button. And it adds a button to the left, or if it was vertical, to the top. And I can take another application and so, single click, and it opens that application. Now, the thing is that this is not persistent. It's not a, a, a replicant. So, if I want this to start up on every single uh, boot, I have to do something a little more than we have done so far. All right, launch, launch box, there it is. Okay, so now we have to go through home, config, settings, boot, launch. This is empty at the moment. So now I have to drag it there and, and that is not what I had in mind. I'm sorry, we should make a... Mm, I'm in my own way here. here. Create link. 
right and we create a link to uh, there it is launch okay so this is now a sim link to this application and we can now quit no need to save it because the next time you launch it you it'll show up exactly the way you set it up you can even have uh, there it is pad new and uh, so I can have more than one la launch box here so let's drag a few buttons in there doesn't matter what it is at this stage whatever you use most often Right, and you see that this one is different. It still has its uh, its tab, and it is vertical rather than horizontal. Now let's say launch box, quit, and on your next boot, it'll launch both of them. And so this one can be small. Let's make it. Settings, icon size, make it really small. Alright. Settings. Alright. Can remove buttons. Can open a containing folder. Right, so this app. Where was this? Right there. Alright, let's just close this. Open containing folder, and there we are. That is where the folder. And it doesn't uh, highlight the app itself, but it opens its folder. So, single click, uh, normal click just opens that particular app and a right click gives you these settings so that uh, this is a really useful little uh, app and I use mine all the time and I launch it like this you know, automatically so anything you want to launch on boot up, you put the sim link here. Right. There's also a user boot script, which I suppose we'll have to talk about at some stage. Right. Here's the little bit that actually launches things from this uh, launch directory. And below that you can find put other things uh, you know clean up uh, commands and such that don't uh, run with a graphical user interface but we'll talk more about this user boot script at a later stage and that is all there is to say about Launchbox, this is a very, very useful little uh, desktop applet.